Hello. What have you brought into the show today? Well, I brought a little collection, an assemblage of relics and artifacts pertaining to John C. Breckinridge, the John Confederate Breckenridge. General. Yeah. Also Vice President of the United States. Vice that? President of the U.S. Okay. Well, let's let's talk about what we have here. Uh, Start with the watch. Well, the watch is probably my favorite piece. Uh, this is a watch given to him by his cousin during the war. She was on the nursing corps for General Grant. She was a Union Army nurse. And we don't know the circumstances or, or why, what precipitated the gift, but she actually sent this through Union lines into the Confederacy to give to, to uh, General Breckinridge as a gift. And that was 1863? 1863. I'm going to spin this around, and hopefully they can see the presentation, if I can get it back up here. And on the back, the presentation reads virtually what you said to General mm -hmm. John C. Breckinridge from his, his, his niece, his cousin, oh, his cousin mm -hmm. Margaret, 1863. Now this is a English made watch, coin silver mm -hmm. of the period. And it's it's this fantastic, it's got the, the coin silver bob and I see the uh, the key, it's a key wound. And uh, most of the, the, the most famous maker in, in England is a company called Tobias. And I think that's who made it. All right, now what else we got going on down the line here? Well, this is a 20th century commemorative piece. It's a tobacco book. Right. And uh, it's, they were issued in the early 20th century right. by the tobacco companies. And it actually has a biography of General Breckinridge in it. And, and they were traded like trading cards. They were traded. And apparently they used those to stiffen the package of cigarettes. Right. Or plug tobacco or whatever they came in. Good. All right, now we got the ferrier type. Tell us about that. <laughs> the, I think this is commercial. I don't think it's an original photographer's image. But it has a information on the back that looks like it maybe it was distributed and sold maybe during the war. Okay. And the, the final piece is uh, it's breathtaking to me, but tell us what that is. Well, from my understanding and reading the document, this is one, one of, if not the last official orders of General Breckinridge in April of 1865 to evacuate the city of Richmond. As Secretary of War. As Secretary of War for the Confederacy. And, and, and we're not going to open it up, but on the inside is, is the, the directive and all the instructions. Absolutely. Well, this is a, a fabulous co co collection here. And for the state of Kentucky, it is Kentucky. Yes, it is. And uh, for, for myself, a son of the South, it's, 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 it gives me cold chills, actually. But uh, I know you've been collecting these. you have a value or, or you want me to give you a value? I'm going to let you because some things I have maybe invested a lot in. Yeah. Pieces have been acquired directly from estates. Right. So there wasn't but, a, a public auction. Gotcha. Well, you know, the, the, when you get to uh, major generals, mm -hmm. You're in, you know, Breckenridge is in top four of the Confederacy. Especially to us in Kentucky. Oh, especially. And the the watch would start out at a, at a minimum of ten thousand dollars. With oh, that, with the that's the, the, the five. These we're not going to go with these because they're 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 nominal. But, exactly. But this document here also that that's to me is on the same level as General Lee's uh, final document mm -hmm. to surrender. This is the fall of Richmond, and that ought to be in a museum or an institution. That's how rare that is. And and I would also start that at $10,000. Wow. So you got a fabulous collection here. And thank you for bringing it in. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. All right, sir.